Then the ruler, a teaspoon, some food colorants, and a template of four leaves. In a medium bowl, add the butter, half cup of sugar. Mix it together until well blended. Then add an egg, some vanilla extract. Mix it again until the texture is creamy and smooth. Add 2 cups of all-purpose flour, a quarter teaspoon of salt. Mix it together again. When the mixture is firm enough, you can use hand to form it into a dough. Roughly divide the dough into 4 portions. Add each portion of dough with a different color, and then knead it until the color is completely incorporate. I made the brown dough with some orange and red food colorant. You can always experiment your own color, but just make sure you don't add too much colorant, or the cookies will look too artificial to eat. We keep one dough with original color. Randomly mix all the doughs together on the parchment paper, just like this. Place another piece of parchment paper on top, and then roll the dough into a quarter inch sheet. Peel off the top parchment paper. Use a ruler to cut out a big piece of dough. Then use a teaspoon to cut the outline of the leaf. Draw some lines on the leaf with the curve of the spoon. Make sure you don't cut through the bottom of the dough. Let's do it one more time from this angle. You can make different sizes of the leaf if you want. The leaf is done. Let's move to the maple leaf. Cut out another square. Use the ruler to cut out 7 triangles to form the outline of the maple leaf. It is a nice way to do when you don't have cookie cutter in hand. Clean off the dough around the leaf. Same for the maple leaf, we use a teaspoon to craft the veins. Place the dough on the parchment paper and bake them for 10 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And these beautiful leaves are done.